So when I'm pinning it to put under the sewing machine, I have the pin points going inward. So you're going to begin by sewing the, the chin piece right here, pushing the mohair on the inside. That's another little thing that will help keep those seams less visible. Pushing it in as you go, and then keeping the pins, I use them perpendicular to the edge. And so then they stick out like that. And I just kind of go along the bottom of the chin gusset and go, how am I doing as far as keeping it in the view here? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, awesome. I want to read a comment from Joanne Kelly. She's saying, hi, Linda, Eve, Michelle, Rob. Nice to see everyone here. All the artists hi, here everybody. want to learn. Yeah. Hi, thank All you. All the artists here want to learn from Tammy. She's one of the best there is. And that's a major, major compliment coming from Joanne Kelly because she is the one I was telling you about last night. <laughs> That's cool. Thank oh, you all. Talk, oh, yes. We talked over, over, over pho. We were talking pho, about pho. Joanne. Which yeah. I didn't know what that was, but it's <laughs> soup, and they give you a bowl bigger than anybody could ever eat for that one person. Good. Yeah. So it was, it was very good. So I'm putting the pins in um, perpendicular to the edge, and I'm putting the, the little ball out because I will be taking these out as I sew. Now, I am, you know, I do know that this is a bad thing to do if you're seamstress. I do sometimes run over the pins. Mm -hmm. But this is not my machine, so I'm not going <laughs> to run over the pins. <laughs> Thank you. So, so I have them placed out like this so that I can sew this seam. Now, the other thing I have to do, excuse me, is I have to take my boot off. Oh, really? Because <laughs> I need to be able to feel... Cool. Uh, usually at home, do you, a do barefoot. You do you do that barefoot? Yeah, yeah, or at least in stocking feet, but definitely <laughs> you have to be able to um, uh, see, or I mean, feel the foot pedal and feel the speed. And actually, I didn't. Remember I said I was going to test this? You tested it, but I didn't, so I'm going to do this really quick. Cool. I've not used this machine before, so hopefully this will work out really yeah, well for and you. this is always tough because okay. you're always used to your own things. And as far as a machine goes, you need a machine that will do a nice, tight, straight stitch. You do not need to have embroidery. I mean, all of that stuff is very nice, but you don't need it to make bears. You, if you're going to use a machine... How, how thick can be the, the pieces that you put through the machine? Uh... Or, it depends on the machine. Now, I don't even know how to let, let the pressure foot go down. Mm -hmm. I think oh, is it back. this one? Let's see. Yes, Yay. thank you. Okay. So then you want to put the needle in. Oh, wait a minute. Why is it? Oh, that's turning the needle. See, on mine, that's turning the 